We're here today because of a unique public health tragedy, one that has affected the people of Libby and Troy, Montana. It is a toxic legacy. I cannot emphasize too strongly just how what a tragic situation it is in Libby. Once you learn about what has happened in Libby, uh, it becomes critical to figure out what are the assets that we can bring to help the citizens of Montana. 200 people have already died um, in Libby on account of asbestos-related diseases. It's in yards, kids playing it, um, and kids are literally dying. No community, whether it's a big city or a, a small town in northwestern Montana, can deal with the environmental catastrophe on the scale of the Libby disaster by themselves. For years, Libby and Troy residents have been at high risk for lung cancer, asbestosis, and other serious, often fatal respiratory diseases, and had little outside support to address the full scope of what they were facing. The system let Libby down. For too long, Libby has been what newspaper described as a town left to die. We are determining, for the first time in EPA history, the release of asbestos in the area constitutes a public health emergency. We are here today, though, uh, to provide justice to the people of Libby, Montana, with the determination of a public health emergency. And under that emergency, people now start to get um, medical help. HHS announced that it would make available a new grant to Libby. The grant would help provide comprehensive medical care to those suffering from asbestosis-related conditions. We still have a long way to go to do the right thing for the folks in Libby. But working together, working together with the folks at HHS and EPA, we're making some progress. And that's a good thing. For way too long, many here in Washington have turned a blind eye to the needs of the residents in Libby. And Administrator Jackson and I are here to say those days are over. We are recommitting to getting the job done right.